for Australia celebration to a completely different day and actually leave this day for a day of mourning for Indigenous people. I mean, it's been 220 years. I mean, I'm so sick and tired of having to come out here every year on a stupid Australia day to let you white people know that this is certainly not a day that includes the, the celebration for Indigenous people. It's a, it's a day of mourning for us. In my mind, there's a story I'm a inside of me my days of hell I wake up in the morning thinking to myself who'll have a go at me today police or the government today I'd like to call on all indigenous leaders around the country to stand up and fight against the Sydney Olympics that are going to happen this year to stand up and to ask all black nations from around the world to boycott the Sydney Olympics because of the atrocities and the oppression that are happening to the indigenous people here in this country. And it's up to us people, join the rally now and come together with us because we're not going to masturbate in this celebration of a nation. say two simple words for the absolute <laughs> to be to people to a human being. I pick up the captain and his murderous way. I think of the genocide still happening today. Of emotions drowning my brain. Dreams of oppression keep coming back again. The day of mourning transposes itself against all the mindless, jingoistic, nationalistic celebration that takes place elsewhere on this day. It is intended to be a sombre reflection on those who have been and who remain the victims of the, the brutal and forced dispossession of Indigenous people in this country. Aboriginal people remain in this day, on this Australia Day, 2000, the most incarcerated people on earth. The unemployment rates of Aboriginal people remain by far the worst of any community in this country. The health statistics of Aboriginal people clearly show that even in this state, the best place for an Indigenous person in Australia to live, the death rates of Aboriginal men my age are appalling. The average rate of life expectancy for an adult Aboriginal male in Victoria is in the mid-40s. For a white man, it's in his 70s. These are clear indications that the disparities remain. The only way that there can be genuine reconciliation in this country is with justice. Not justice for the black fat cats, black but justice for the black underclass. The people have missed out. The people have remained landless. The stolen generation. <laughs> Don't be fooled into thinking that reconciliation is justice. Don't be fooled into thinking that native title is land rights. See, these are the powerful new myths of the white power elite of Australia who screw both you and me. The bloodlines screaming through my veins. Stop the dreams of oppression from coming back again. Still, I continue to fight against racism and greed in the hope that one day my children will be free. In the hope that one day my children will be free. I wake 
wake up in the morning thinking to myself, who'll ever go with me today, police or the government? Thank you.